The first trick I'm going to show you is going to involve a picture before, if I wanted to add a border to this, the trick would be to edit photo and add a shadow and do an outline. This is really fantastic way to create a border. However, this doesn't create a rounded border. It keeps it square. What we're going to do instead is type R on our keyboard to give us a little square. And then we're going to go up here to the border style and add a border weight. Decide how thick you want your border when you're creating the border for your picture. You can also add corner rounding to this. So let's say that we want it to look like that. All you need to do is click the shape, click the paint roller, click it so it copies, and then click your image and it will paste it and it will give you the rounded edge and a border. This is just an awesome tool. You can also use the same feature on videos. So here's a video, copy style, click on it, paste style, and there it is. I mean, it's just an awesome little tool that you can use with the copy style button. Trick number two is that you can bold an unboldable font. Anton is pretty bold already, but there are several fonts that are not this bold that you can't bold. The bold button, you can't click it, but you can do this trick. Click effects, outline. We're going to go ahead and reduce the thickness of that outline just a little bit. Click the color, change the color to the text color, and then we actually will need to reduce that thickness a little more so that we can read it. How does this work on a different font? Here is a script font that doesn't have a bold. We can use the same type of technique and even reduce the thickness there to make it a little more legible. And you made a unboldable font bolder. Trick number three can be found in the apps. If you want to see super helpful tutorials on Canva, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. Ding. Which is called Typecraft. If it's not in the featured apps, then type in Typecraft at the top, click it, and here's your word, Typecraft. You can put any word that you would like there. What about YouTube in uppercase? We'll do that. We can change the font here to anything that we like. It doesn't have every single font that's available, but it does have a lot of fonts. So let's use this Cubao 123. We can even give it a style if we would like to give it an outline, but we're just going to leave it as none. And you can even change the color. This is where the magic comes in. You can make adjustments here. For example, you could bring that line straight up and look at this cool thing. Let's just add element to the design and look at what it looks like. This is really cool. If you decide you don't like that or you want it to be a different color, just click the color. It will do that and we can update the element and it will update it on the page. Because I do want to show you that if you are working in this project later and you click edit, it will open Typecraft back up. So if you want to do something with your Typecraft, then what you're going to want to do is download your Typecraft image. Tip number four is if you want to download a single item on a page, then you can do a little trick by just clicking R and making a small little rectangle or whatever, we're gonna put it down here. We're gonna select these two items, right click, and you can download selection. When you do this, make sure your file type is PNG. And if you have Canva Pro, you're gonna click transparent background. I like to size up my image when I'm doing it this way. That way I've got the best quality image I can have and then download it. 
We're going to wait for that to download and I'm going to bring it back in. Trick number five, you're going to take and just get rid of that rectangle. And now you can take this and edit the photo just like you would any other photo. So we can add a shadow to it like that and give it an outline. That's pretty cool look. Next up, you're going to want to watch this video right here, which is going to share with you six video tricks that I bet you didn't know. And I'll see you next time. Bye.